body, and not like a bun for you. He suffers from extreme PTSD, depression, and other illnesses. Don't judge without knowing. Let's all work together for a better world. Support mental health awareness and heal through love and understanding. Here I am at the spot. So I'm always self-conscious when I come to these places because I'm like the only person with snowshoes. Everybody else with a snowboard has a, a split board. And then like all these guys around me have their skis and skins. So first thing when I get back is I have to have Brett send me that split board. Um, another funny thing is I know people put their skins on the outside but when I get ready I get ready 90% inside the car even my boots and everything because I don't want my hands to get cold and 99% uh, of everybody does 99% of everything outside so uh, it's not like I started this yesterday I've been doing this longer than most of the people out here is that different? Over and out. All right, here I am. Um, I got the super, I'm trying to warm up my hands. Here we go. I got the super janky setup. Um, I forgot this pack um, doesn't work well with holding the board. So I have a bungee and some rope. It works. And if it doesn't, I can stop and fix it. Uh, but it's pretty cold. So what I'm doing right now is I'm thawing out my fingers. Um, everything's all set up out there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run across the street, put the uh, snowshoes on. Um, the poles are already set from yesterday. Uh, my thumb is really, really cold. Um, the only thing uh, that I really forgot that I really need would have been a regular beanie. Um, I have my Peruvian beanie, which is good, but uh, you know, not perfect. So I got my box in a pocket. I don't have a sweat band so if I start sweating I'm just gonna have to lose a lot of clothes and just um, sweat you know. So what I'm gonna do now is finish blowing out my hands, uh, pee, um, and then uh, get on my way. It's 751. These other people uh, left maybe about five ten minutes ago. So Depending how fast they are with their skins and me and my shoes, um, I might be able to catch up to them. Because if it's a couple hours up, I doubt it's, it's only an hour. So today, you know, just one trip up, that's it. I'm not going to do a lot. One trip up, um, I could stop somewhere on the way home and do something and that's it. Get home and do a lot of editing. Over now. That's me. I have like the biggest smile on my face. All right, so that spot right there where I almost slipped, and sorry I've been talking enough. It says something about heart rate monitor. I'm at 114, 757. I got this in the tree. My phone was not on do not disturb even after I set it to be on do not disturb forever instead of two hours. So now phone is on do not disturb. All right, here we go. No more frustration. So the only thing I did was take, uh, the next thing is vents, jacket zip. So it's more effort for me than most people with skis. So just thinking about all the good I can do raise awareness to mental illness and domestic abuse for both sides. How about for the perpetrators? Not gonna deny a hitter. How about my recovery from that? Stigma, not being able to coach. 
Soccer. Wife trying to hold that over you. Heart rate check. 157. 162. Oh. Slow traffic to the right. Oh yeah. Flipboard's on its way. Got the relic snowshoes over here. Had to pee again. And some people passed me. But I guess that's another thing that sets me apart is I'm definitely not the fastest person going up the hill. <laughs> I was just thinking about that project. Have some hot chicks, look through Tinder. One chick dated a guy once. Second chick dated a guy once. Write down the stories. Second chick date the same two guys. Correlate stories. If it's someone like me, help them out. And the important thing about having the waist strap and the chest strap, if you want the waist strap, to rest most of the weight on your hips and the chest strap to pull the shoulder straps so they don't slide down the shoulders. Yes, this is hard. Really freaking hard. Next break, a lot of water and so sick. Oh, I got some New Orleans stories. It's actually kind of fun and nothing a gym workout can get you ready for when you're constantly off balance. But believe me, even though I'm barely touching the poles, they're helping me balance. I should tighten them up a little bit. So you see, I'm kind of loose. In major contrast to skate skiing, when you have to, they're like attached to your hands. Look at this. And they, you help pull. Tightening these up a little bit, cause up ahead, there's an uphill. I wish I could have got that on camera but what happened is i got kind of paranoid that i was leaking my butt feels kind of wet but i checked it didn't look like it so here i am peeing yet again one of the very few supplements that i take you do not want to know what it's like to have stiff leg i'm gonna take another one in like seriously half an hour this is character building that's my stance on mountain biking i could do some downhill and i've rented a downhill bike maybe a couple times I've taken a lot of shells and chairlifts, but this is hard. I was thinking, there's the road. This is like one of the hardest stair stepper workouts. Hour 24 in, and look what I have to look forward to. So I like skate skiing a lot, but this is an easier technique to go up, and I'm gonna have way more fun going down, because skate skis don't have edges. No problem, I'm just glad to be out here. Oh yeah, I'm about to show some leg too. <laughs> Mine's in the inside. <laughs> That's like, hey, I want to get some pants that have the mesh because I forget to zip it up and get snow all in there. So yeah, I relate to too much stuff and talk too much. More people coming, so I will, won't stop long. Mm hmm. Just destroyed my tripod, but you know, no big deal. It was cheap. I'm like, I'm like, stay right there and record myself. And it went <laughs> So I'm like, okay. Alrighty. Operation set up the Zedrin. If I have to steal a line, it's gonna be all right, all right, all right. I had a guy take my picture. They're doing laps. I don't need to do laps. I did it once. So I want to get this thing doing video on me. So I got triple camera. One, two, three. Three, two, one. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I should have brought something to put this down on. So if I wanted to like squat. All right. I should have brought some uh, some figures to do a skit. Dang it, it's kind of my thing and I forgot. Well, it's not my thing all the time, but <clears throat> these are hard squats. I, I'm like leaning forward. I don't like my form. So I'm just gonna 
do some light arm swings. I got Lake Tahoe behind me. I'm so glad this wasn't a huge ordeal to get up here. And I'm gonna go over there and it's gonna take me 10 minutes to sip some water, eat orange, and 10 minutes back down to the car. What up, Droney? So this is a straight up. We're going straight up. I normally run around and put figures places and say, aha, the controller, it's stranded. I must rescue it. And then I might do like a long shot and then just rotate around it with the drone and then with this camera and with this camera. And then later on, I can get people to edit that. Cause right now I just got a, so, oh, oh, I got so much stuff, you know? So let's see what other thing I can do. Yeah, but you didn't, I didn't tell you I'm a sissy tree climber. I only go about 50 feet up, just enough to kill you. You know, just enough to kill you. Well, you know, I can get dirty looks at all the people with ropes. So almost exactly three hours. I'm snowboarding down with the pack. With this heavy, it's noticeable. I feel guilty enough. I've been up here for about an hour. Oh, that's cool. You got airbag. Look at that view.
I did not want that. So what I'm doing right now, so my board is really slippery. So here's a problem with the sugary snow. Everyone else did something else. I went here and now I have to climb out. So I'm going fast right now. I just want to treat when I get back. And you can't get all this off. Like, this is heavy stuff. This is so ghetto. I put the point now. I'm making it feel like I have a time penalty the longer I sit in pit stop. Okay, so the poles are good. I spent a little extra time on those. So I can't really kneel down because it's sugary snow and I'm really, really tired. So absolutely no dilly-dally. Now I'm on heavy board, freshies. So 322, this is a big adventure. So the board is hanging really low. It is dragging me down. At this point, it's like a training exercise gonna make it home. This is salt stick. Find one more spot to board down. Time wise, I don't want to go up anymore. So glad I didn't go down that gully. Over this hill, down to the car. That's what I hope. <clears throat> so I don't have a lot of battery left and I had to hike up another big mountain. Got my snowboard on, I can see the car, I can see people sledding. That's a different road, I'm in the middle. I can see tracks, so. I'm super hungry, almost five hours. This is supposed to be three to four hours. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. And please donate to this worthy cause. Thanks again.